Greetings, Internet. Callisto here from Modern Warfare 2 Gamer.com. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give you the gift that keeps on giving. The gift of ownage via assault rifles. That's right. I'm going to show you what the best assault rifles are. Now, this isn't to say that the other assault rifles are horrible, even though you'll never catch me with a FAL or an F2000. But these are the three assault guns that I use because, in my opinion, they're the easiest to get kills with. So, no point not going with them. So, you're probably wondering what the three best assault rifles are. Well, that would be the AK, the ACR, and the SCAR. Alright, so we'll start out with the SCAR since at level 8, that's the first one out of these three that you'll get. It's a long range assault rifle, small clip size, so you really got to be careful when you're getting into a. Uh, like mid-range firefights with it, you don't want to go full automatic because you will run out of bullets really fast. And that also means it's kind of tough to get string kills, so just kind of tap the trigger. Don't go like crazy with it because you will get noobed. As far as attachments go, it's got a really solid iron sight, so you don't really need red dot. But it helps a little bit, but you could probably go with like a 203 or something if you wanted to. I'm kind of vulnerable with this gun, so you're really going to be kind of like spinning around like a helicopter. Just make sure no one gets in behind you. Just take it slow. You don't want to rush into anything with this gun, since if you get overwhelmed, you're not going to be able to do a lot with your with the size of a small clip on this thing. So you just want to like take it slow, take advantage of cover. You can move forward, but you don't want to be like overly aggressive. Just like watch your corners. Don't let anyone like get up on you with multiple people. Just be really like aware of your surroundings and stuff. And I have no problems with camping, especially when I've got a gun like this where I'm really vulnerable to be offensive. So if they're going to come to me, I'm just going to sit here behind cover and keep picking them off. Once they chill out and like stop just attacking me multiple guys at a time, then I'll leave. But I just I can't afford to leave this position with so many guys around. I'm pretty much just stuck waiting for teammates to bail me out here. So things to keep in mind with the SCAR is control your fire, don't be crazy with your ammunition, and try not to let the enemy get like weird angles on you. Use cover smart because you're going to be fighting long range most of the time, so don't be messing around in the middle of the map. Stick to cover. Next up we got the ACR, which you get at level 48, and this thing is a sick long range gun. I mean, it pretty much shoots laser beams. I mean, it just shoots really, really straight, very accurate gun. So, it doesn't have the power of the AK or the SCAR, but it really makes up for it in a tight bullet spread. The trick with the SCAR is don't let people roll up close on you. Really, like, watch doorways and windows when you're moving from one part of the map to the other. Since it's like really accurate and it's got good range, just use that to your advantage. Don't let people get like point blank since it's got low damage, it takes a few bullets to kill people. So if someone gets up close to you with like an AK or a SMG, you're going to be screwed. And last, but certainly not least, we have my personal favorite, the always lovely AK-47. Now this gun does not have range. Anything beyond mid-range, you're really gambling. But up close, this thing is just king. It does so much damage. You put stomp and power on this thing, and it's just insanity. Close and mid-range, you're going to own pretty much anybody. It takes a while to get it. You don't get it until level 70, but it's worth it. The way this gun's set up with its high damage, it almost plays kind of like a submachine gun. A lot of the times, you won't even have to scope to get kills on it, like right here. But you don't necessarily want to get into the habit of doing that all the time, but you'll get away with it sometimes. And again. It's a really good gun for being defensive. Anybody that has to like push into you when you got this thing out is just not in a good situation like right from the beginning. Uh, one of the downsides is this gun does buck a lot. I mean, once you start shooting down the iron sight, it jumps all over the place. Because of that, any sort of sight, red dot, thermal, ACOG, it's just horrible. You will not be able to see what you're shooting at because it'll just be bouncing all over the place. So, would not recommend putting one of those on your gun unless you're just trying to get one of the dumb achievements or something. 
Most of these assault rifles all play very similarly, just slow row, long range, the only exception being the AK, where you can do short range and be more aggressive. But, you know, just play smart and you'll come out ahead with these guns, just takes practice. When it comes to perks, I kinda use pretty much the same ones on all of them. Scavenger, stopping stopping power, you gotta use on all these. It's just amazing. It's really good for any assault rifle. Uh, I use city aim with most of them. The AK, I like to do up close fighting where I can move, so definitely like steady aim on that. The ACR is really accurate, and then you stack steady aim on top of that. It's just own. The Scar, I like to go with Ninja for my third perk, just because it's, you know, my Ninja class. I like to sneak around. But, uh, you can do things like, you can do Marathon if you wanted to. Sleight of Hand, I probably would stay away from. Bling, no. So I would pretty much just go with either Marathon or Scavenger when you're using one of the Assault Rifles. Alright, Internet, I shall leave you with what it's possible to achieve with these most valued of insights. I'll see you next time on ModernWarfare2Gamer.com. And don't forget to check out the MW2 Gamer Regional Knockout Tournaments, where you might win 400 bucks. Put this knowledge to use. Later.